Hello and welcome to my GeoGuessr Daily Challenge Day 438. Let's get going. It's a bit later, this one I'm making. I've been having a... I was going to say relaxing. It has been relaxing, but I've had a big night of um playing games and watching Doctor Who, which has been good fun. But I, it means I've gotten to this quite late. Petra, 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 Petra. I feel like it should be in Israel. I just sort of get those vibes, but maybe not because um, one of the signs of Israel is, excuse me, the words being in two languages. The being in Hebrew and Arabic. That was just Arabic. Once again, that's just Arabic. It doesn't look like a yellow number plate behind us. So this could be Tunisia or UAE. Let's just have a look at them. Petra, Petra, Petra. I think it technically, where am I? I'm in Uzbekistan. I'm really gone. I think technically I could be in Jordan. But it doesn't come up often. Hmm. And because it gives me those sort of Israel vibes, I'm kind of inclined to go with Jordan. But let's keep looking first, see if we can find any more information. This probably isn't the best way to go. I'm going to put a marker down and return and head this way. Don't know why I think that wasn't the best way to go. I just kind of have that. That instinct. Oh, my camera's gone blurry. If I stare into the camera long enough, hello, creepily staring at you, it should recognize there's a face and unblur. Look! Face! Do autofocus because face. Nah. I will fix that after this round. Do do. Do do do. Any Doctor Who fans were playing along? I just finished the episode Turn Left. Oh, that is just the same sign essentially repeated. For those who are not Doctor Who fans, I'm at the end of season four of New Who, not Old Who. But I did see a very interesting thing Petra Development and Tourism. Does it say Amen? Amen. Isn't Amen the capital of Omen? No. What made me think that? Where's Amen? It's Jordan. Okay. Petra, Petra, Petra. Good enough. Good enough. I was right with my Jordan instincts. Okay, so. Let's let's be very interesting today, which I'll talk about on this big long empty road. Um, there's an episode of Doctor Who called Shadra. Hey, the camera's focused. Uh, and it was meant to be the final episode of one of Tom Baker, who was the fourth Doctor back in the long time ago, Doctor Who's final episode, written by Douglas Adams, who's famous for writing the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy books. So this episode was meant to be um, filmed for Tom Baker. It was fully written, and then only half filmed, and the money ran out. Or some business reason it ran out. They used some of the unused footage for bits and pieces here and there until in 2017 they took all the footage that they had filmed, got the original voice actors back, well not voice actors, but added animation and therefore required voice actors so they could release the full episode as it is. And I think it was back in the day when Doctor Who had really weird... I haven't really researched this, but the two episodes I've watched... Well, not, not watched, like even looked at of Doctor Who old time. They like made half hour episodes, but they made them five per story. So there was like almost every story ended up being two and a half hours or like movie length. Maybe there were shorter ones, but so it was a two and a half hour episode. No wonder they didn't film it all. Filled in the gaps in animation and became, they said specifically for Doctor Who, but I feel like this has to be true for a lot of TV shows. The longest time between start of production 
an end of production on a TV show. It was like 38 years before they fully released the episode in 2017. Okay, speaking of something apart from Doctor Who, let's talk about GeoGuessr for a while. I have no clue where we are. This really has been a very, very homogenous road. Okay, what are we thinking? Let's take a moment to think. Signs, oh my god, let's not think until we see signs. Come on, signs, be helpful. Language. Vajada, I can't read it, but. I think, I haven't had a round like this in a while, but I remember the Baltics having a lot of, like, crazy open grassland that really doesn't get much coverage. And that feels European. And I don't have any better guesses, so I think I'm going to go Baltic. Could be Finland. Oh, I was, I was right on. It's Estonia. I was in the wrong country, but I said Baltic, which is like this little region. Very happy with that. I think if I hadn't found that sign, I was going to go Canada. Which would have been wrong. Okay. Once again, European. We have lots of information, like so much information. Let's try and work this out quickly. E71 M3. It's got the Poland, Romania, Hungary poles. So let's play off that. No M roads in Poland. Romania. No M roads. Let's hope there's some in Hungary. M roads. Awesome. E71 M3. M3. E. E71. E some of these do have E, some of them don't. But there's definitely a clear distinction with them, so I need to look for one that does have the E. E71. Cool. Oh, it's the same road. That makes sense. It needs to be in a part where they're the same road. It's this little weird half roundabout intersection thing happening here. So it's almost directly south southeast. We're looking along this road for... Town. Let's first of all, it's a it's a road to Borvinska. Oh wow, that's way more than Borvinska. Borso de Vinica. Let's see if we can see that. No. Oh, come on. No, there it is. Borso de Vinica. So at some point we get to this turn off. And it's south, so there is a roundabout earlier. We are sort of in a town. It's probably not directly onto this sign, is it? Like... It's somewhere south, so we, oh, we really could be up here. That could be it. If that was it, we're a little bit further this way. I like that as a guess. Let's just see what we've got around us. Um, what does this say? E71 M3, that, we know that's there. Smolia and Gd. Uh, I can't see those places. There's Egda. So we're further up, we're much further up. Um, We're not that far up, but oh, somewhere. I've got one second left. Is that what I guessed before? No, I guessed. I guessed there. I mean, the score was really good still. I think, I mean, if this was like me doing a perfect score run without the timer, I would have got that, but just didn't have the time. That was a really good round, so that was actually quite a fun one. Let's see where we have at this time. The Enusa Fabriki something something. 
Constructsy. They construct things. What if the Fabrica meant fabricate? Fabrication yard, probably did. Selamat, oh, that's um, Malaysia or Indonesia. Which one? Which one? Ketang. Am I falling into my trap of every single Malaysian and Indonesian word? Sounds like a place. Or am I actually onto something? I think I might be falling into my trap. I really think I am. So we're going to move on from that. And... Nope. Vehicle parking at your own wish, yard management is not responsible for any damage or theft. That was some English. You're talking English. Just Doctor Who on my mind. But I watched that episode a long time ago. I feel like that quote sticks with me. Um, no, that's not helpful. I don't know why I'm looking at it. Olina Park, not going to be able to find that. Indonesian flag, let's get out. Oh no, we're not, we're not in Malaysia. Indonesian flag, good. Good, 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 good. Manufacturing, every island would have manufacturing in Indonesia. Don't think I can use that as a differentiator. Hmm. Let's see. Something about phone numbers. I wonder if there's a phone number meta in Indonesia. I bet there is. Oh, this is a nice big road. Does there any place names on it? BCI Industrial Park. BCI Industrial Park. Spicy Aromatic Blend of Next. Assume spicy coffee next maybe it's tobacco of some sort what are you aromatic but spicy it must be like cigars or cigarettes i feel like you see a lot of cigarette ads in indonesia anyway so that makes sense i'm wait that's owned by indonesia god i never would have guessed that island but i'm chuffed with the score very happy we're doing well We've already broken our required silver and we have one round left to go. No hints on the road, but probably some hints to the side here. Entre Rios. Could this be Brazil? Bienvenidos a la terminal comprivita del transporte entre Rios. I tried to say that like I spoke Spanish, but I don't. Or Portuguese, if it is, uh, does end up being Brazil. One of the ways, that says Rios again. Is Rios a place? Could it be? Like, is a Rio Rios? Do we cut the O in English? Cut the S, sorry. I go to Rio de Janeiro. Hmm. Normally, and this is one of my only ways to identify Brazil, and it's an awful way. I need to get better ways to identify Brazil. Normally, I look for accents over the letters because that indicates Portuguese over Spanish. And although there's no guarantee to be accents over the letters, there is often accents over the letters. Excuse me, weird hiccup. And so the fact that I have gone this long without seeing an accent over one of the letters is not a good sign. And I would almost say very unlikely that this is Brazil. I don't remember exactly what Bolivia's flag looks like, but I have a suspicion it might be blue, white, and black. So this might be swap me swapping to Bolivia. 
I feel much more comfortable to do it since I know I'm not going to lose my silver, but still want to try and do my best. Let's have a look. Is that a Rios in the great country of Bolivia? I go to Rios. No. Not that I can see. But I think I'm going to lock it in. Wait. That's the country flag. Not what we were seeing before. Is that Ecuador? Is it Ecuador? No. I, I'm lost. I have no idea. But if that's the country... I'm sticking with Bolivia. But I'm not confident anymore. I've lost all confidence. If you looked at that answer, you would not have believed that I had lost confidence. There it is. Entre Rios. I mean, I just clicked, but if I'd zoomed in on where I clicked, I would have seen it. That is incredibly lucky. Um, view summary. 22,692. Honestly, a great day. We only got hurt because I didn't guess further south in Jordan. And I went Latvia instead of Estonia. But that was a hard round. Let's have a look at how everyone else did. Friends, top of the list. How did everyone else do? Where did they lose their points? Round one. Ooh. Yeah, I can see it. I could see going UAE. I was looking there for a while. If I hadn't found that sign that said Amman, there was I was likely going to end up there. And women guessed her, lost their points on that Latvia round. And what other one? Round three. What was round three? Oh, hungry. Yep, fair. They were just slightly more off. Yeah. That was a tough day. Oh, wait. Sorry, no. I'm going to scrap all that. They got a perfect score in Bolivia. Well done, Gesta. I only just saw it. I mean, there's no point me zooming in. You know the dot's going to be on top. At least close. Very well done. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.